Hello fellow RC flyers, this is Dan here in Northern Virginia. Today I'd like to show you a simple way of making a bungee launcher for your RC airplanes. I consider myself an intermediate pilot, been flying for about a year. This is my third airplane and uh, it's from Hobby King. It's called a Sky Fun. It's a pusher type jet, uh, not actually a jet, but a pusher type jet style airplane. But you can see on the back, it's a pusher style motor. And the problem with this kind of a plane is <clears throat> that when you go to launch it, this plane is very fast. <clears throat> and when you go to launch this and run your radio with the other hand, this propeller here will bite you badly. It can slice your finger. You can take the tip right off. In my case, it has bitten me twice, but I had leather gloves on, so it only stung me pretty badly. So I went online, decided to make a bungee launcher system that eliminates the chance of being bitten. And it also looks like a lot of fun. The key thing to a bungee launcher system is three components. Number one, <clears throat> your airplane must be modified to have a hook in the bottom that will pull the airplane from the launcher system and launch it. You can see this here. I've inlet this into the airplane. But I don't want to get too far into that. I'm just going to set this aside for now and concentrate on how to make the PVC rails for the launcher. The other part of the system, of course, is the bungee, bungee cord and how to rig it up. But for this video, we're going to concentrate only on the PVC bungee launching frame. There's lots of ways that you can do this, but I watched all the videos I could find on YouTube, various forums, and I finally came up with a system of my own. I hope you like this, and I'm going to walk you through it. First thing you need to do is go to Lowe's. It cost you about their Home Depot cost you about thirty dollars, and buy two ten-foot lengths of three-quarter inch Schedule 40 inside diameter PVC pipe. Two ten-foot lengths. You bring those home, the first thing you do is whack off five feet, two pieces five feet long. I do that, I have a nice radio arm saw here, I'm able to do that very precisely. So whack off two five feet pieces for your launcher. Second thing you do is cut off two 24 inch pieces. These 24 inch pieces will become the legs or the feet of your launcher which go down on the ground and you can see I've also drilled some holes in here, 3 8 inch holes. These holes will be used to drive stakes down into the ground to hold the bungee launcher steady while you're launching. Next thing you do is cut two lengths of pipe 23 inch long. 23 inch long, two pieces off that same pipe, two of them. And this is before you add on these <clears throat> the uh, end caps and I'll talk to those in a second. So two 23 inch pieces. Next thing you do is cut two 13 inch pieces. These 13 inch pieces will become the rear legs of the system. Okay so we have the two five foot pieces which will be the launch rails. The two 24 inch pieces will become the feet of the launcher. Two 13 inch pieces will become the rear legs of the launcher and you have the front legs, two 23 inch pieces. Now what I found when I went to the store, the key to this system, what makes it improved over the others I've seen on YouTube is this connector system. This connector system is very unique in that it's called a snap fit connector. You can see this connector is cut out in the top. So it's unlike a normal T connector for PVC, it's cut out in the top, there's no hole through the center. It's not designed to be a water pipe to have water go through it. In fact, you can see here, uh, hopefully, that it's threaded on the inside. And those threads, you must buy these adapters that go on here. These adapters do have a hollow portion, but they go on the pipe, and then this T-fit connector snaps right on. And this is the secret to making this whole system adjustable, and uh, you don't need to mess around with any <coughs> Uh, styrofoam insulation or any duct tape on the rails or anything. So once you have these T-connectors, you'll see 
I have the rails marked on mine. You can put them anywhere you want, but with the rails at a certain position, wherever you want for your aircraft, you simply snap fit those onto the rails. And so the rails are also adjustable. This way you can adjust them back and forth for the length of the rail. What this will do will allow you to increase the angle of the rail or decrease the angle of launch on the rail as necessary. It will also, you'll see when I assemble it, it will allow you to adjust the width between the rails to accommodate different size aircraft. So once you have these, you get them, uh, this right now I'm not even glued together. I, I really haven't tried this yet. I just built it. There's no reason it won't work. I'm waiting for some better weather <coughs> to go out and test it, but I'll show you how it works. You assemble these, you will need two of these elbows to go on the rear rails. You need six of these snap fit T's and their adapters. Six T's and adapters. So what you do is put on the rear, you put one elbow, one adapter, one snap fit. Same thing on the other leg. One elbow, one adapter, one snap fit. On the front legs, same thing. Put a T, a snap, a snap fit adapter, a snap fit T, an adapter, on both ends of the front legs, which I've done here. Again, they're, right now they're not glued, so <clears throat> that's all you gotta do. So let's see how we'd assemble this. First of all, I took the legs and I marked them. And I've got them marked on here to fit the width of the aircraft I just showed you. So you simply snap it down onto that, on those marks, snap this one down. And then when you get to the field, you can take your tent stakes, put in here, and uh, this will allow you, I've got this adjusted for the width of my airplane, but you can see, you can bring it in, make it narrower, bring it out if you have a buddy that has an airplane um, or if you have another airplane you can adjust it to fit your airplane so there's the rear so once that's in you do the same thing uh, with the front foot <clears throat> you just take your snap fits put them on the line that you've adjusted snap them down take the rear ones take the other one Snap it down. There you go. There are your front legs. You've got them. So all you have to do now is simply insert your rails, which I'll take it here. And I have this, I think this is where it's probably going to work out. Simply going to snap the rail on the top. Snap it here. There you go. And then it gets a little unwieldy till you get it all together. Snap the other one on. There you go. Then you take your back legs, and I'm going to move over here to the floor. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Go down on the floor here. Take the rear legs and you simply put them in to these elbows like so push them in give them a good push put the other one in give them a little tap and there you go there is your launcher your complete PVC launcher for your RC airplane I'll put it back up on the bench here. Hopefully you can see it. <clears throat> All you have to do is um, <clears throat> put your plane on there. And this particular plane will sit on here like so. And it will be pulled by the bungee cord, which I've assembled. It will shoot off the front of the rails. The key thing about these T-connectors is, other systems you see on YouTube, they always have a problem with having to put foam rubber on here, which simply makes more friction and more drag between the wing and the rail. You want this rail to be slippery. So you want this plane to come flying off there, whoop. So there you go, 
it's my take on a bungee launcher system. I hope this helps you, and if you can read, depending on how this video turns out, you ought to be able to read the dimensions and build one right from the start. It costs you about $30. Thanks for watching.